We are now at day 17 of a journey to the heart of Christmas. Part of this book, The Heart of Christmas, a devotional for the season. It's starting to get cold out. I probably should be wearing a sweater. Uh, but, but, but I want to talk on day 17 about the Magi. Despite its biblical basis, gift giving has been vigorously challenged by well, followers of Herbert W. Armstrong, you know, it's called Armstrongism, as, as well as an organization such as the Watchtower Society. And they have a basic argument, and that argument is that Magi means astrologers, and that God would never lead his people to give gifts at Christmas on the basis of astrology. Sounds plausible. But actually, contrary to the practice of astrology, which involves divination, and uh, attempts to predict the future apart from God, the star that the Magi followed was not used to foretell the future, but to foretell the future. In other words, the star of Bethlehem did not prophesy the birth of Christ. It, it pronounced the birth of Christ. Nonetheless, let me say that the exchanging of gifts can be a dangerous idea in that gift giving has a powerful potential for promoting crass materialism. Now, on the other hand, the giving of gifts reinforces the reality that it's more blessed to give than to receive. So this Christmas season, may we be ever more mindful that the greatest gift we can give to one another is the gift of the Christ child. When he enters the human heart, everlasting life becomes a present reality. Read all about it. I've uh, expanded on that. As you prepare your home for Christmas, prepare your heart as well. This is the book. It's a devotional. You can find it on the web at equip.org. And even if you're joining the tradition late, join it. Uh, you can read the devotionals uh, five a day if you want, so you can catch up. Or you can just pick off uh, the, uh, the day that uh, seems best to you or pick up uh, right now and uh, follow us in to the heart of Christmas. And get your copy on the web at equip.org.